Cats are some of the most charismatic animals in the world, and the bigger, the better. It's amazing to think that the cousins of our little house cats are some of nature's most magnificent predators. But they truly are. And there are so many different kinds of big cat, you wouldn't believe it. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the most beautiful. From the man-eating jungle cat to the bizarre giant hybrid. Here's the 15 most beautiful big cats on the planet. <sighs> Number 15. Bengal Tiger Due to the almost total dominance of the human species, it would be easy to suggest that human beings have no natural predators, and it is true that we are an apex predator, but let's just say that until very recently, the Bengal tiger would have had something to say about that. Some estimates give a figure of as many as 1 million human deaths by Bengal tiger attack since the year 1500. In India, at the end of the 19th century, there are records which show that up to 80,000 people a year were being killed by tigers, until a cull was organized by the British. In one famous story from 1907, the Champawat tiger was hunted and killed by the famous British hunter and tracker Jim Corbet, after he followed a trail of blood from the tiger's last victim, a 16-year-old girl. This man-eating tiger was believed to have eaten 450 people during its life. But while the Bengal tiger might be an extremely dangerous predator, it is still an incredibly beautiful cat, and one of the largest in the world. It is a fearsome, solitary hunter, and the master of the jungles where it lives. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Liger. A liger is a hybrid animal bred from a male lion and a tigress. These cats have been bred by humans, and they do not exist in the wild since while reproduction between lions and tigresses is possible, the cubs are born infertile, so it can never last more than one generation. One effect of this is that ligers seem to have excessive muscle development. It's pretty amazing, and the most amazing part is this a liger, of course, when they breed, and Cody. These cats are basically Tom Hardy in Warrior, but with fur and stripes and stuff. These are the biggest cats in the world and have traits from both lions and tigers. Like tigers, they love to swim, but similar to lions, they are very social animals who like to live in groups. The first examples of human bred ligers were in India, in the early 19th century, when the term liger was coined. And when I say they are big, I mean they are huge. Males can reach 12 feet and weigh over 800 pounds. That makes them about the same size as the prehistoric Smilodon, otherwise known as the saber-toothed tiger, our caveman ancestors' worst nightmare. Number 13. Tigon of course, if you reverse the hybridization, things come out a slightly different way. And that is what the Tigon is, the offspring of a male tiger and a lioness. Like the Liger, they have a mixture of characteristics from both lions and tigers. From the lion side, they get spots, as most lions carry spot-marking genes. Although they are extremely rarely visible on adult lions, they do appear more prominently on Tigons. They also inherit the missing growth inhibitor gene from the lioness, which is missing in the liger. This means that tigons do not grow bigger than their parents, usually weighing in at around 400 pounds. As well as spots, they will often inherit their father's stripes, giving them a kind of 1970s mafia boss bedroom look. Male tigons can also have a kind of short mane, about halfway between a tiger's ruff and a lion's mane. Although most ligers and tigons are considered infertile, there are reports of success successful mating in some cases, and these have produced the ultra-rare Titagon, which is the cross between a female Tigon and a female tiger. But these animals are alleged to be susceptible to terrible diseases, so maybe we shouldn't fool around with nature too much. Number 12. Strawberry Leopard 
Out in South Africa in August 2019, a couple visiting a wildlife reserve managed to photograph one of the rarest forms of big cat that exists, the strawberry leopard. Alan Watson and his wife, Lindsay, set up a remote motion sensor camera in hope of capturing some interesting images, and they got much more than they ever hoped for. The camera was fixed to a tree next to a giraffe that had been killed in a storm, and soon enough, the camera was triggered by the arrival of a red-coated leopard. The red-coated leopard is the rarest color of leopard in the world, and was first recorded only in 2012, when one was spotted in Botswana. The pink coloring comes from a recessive gene, which works in a similar way to the genes which cause albino animals. In humans, the same process causes red hair and freckles. So if you're a redhead, this strawberry leopard ought to be your true spirit animal. And what a beautiful animal it is. Number 11. White Tiger the white tiger is a very rare animal which occurs in nature. It is a variant of the Bengal tiger and the Siberian tiger, and it shows up in various Indian states. It has the dark stripes of a regular tiger, but instead of golden primary coloring, it is white, which makes it look kind of like a zebra. But you really wouldn't want to mistake one of these for a zebra because like everything else on this list, it has the power to shred you to teeny tiny itty bitty pieces. I mean, if it wants to. White Bengal tigers usually tend to be bigger than regular ones from birth right through to adulthood, but they are not a subspecies, as some people have thought. They occur somewhat randomly in around every 10,000 tiger births. So finding one of these is like the ultimate video game Easter egg, like unlocking the fresh Prince of Bel-Air on NBA Jam, or the Thelma and Louise ending in GTA V. Did you know that a tiger's stripes are the same on its skin? And that, like a fingerprint, no two tigers have the same pattern? Well, now you do. And this is one amazing tiger. Number 10. Puma this cat surely must have something of an occasional identity crisis given the number of names it holds. It is known most often as the cougar, but also the puma, mountain lion, panther, painter, and catamount. It is the second largest New World cat after the jaguar. And although it is literally a big cat, it is more closely related to domestic house cats than most of the others on this list. The cougar is a powerful predator, and if you overfeed your kitty, this is pretty much what it will turn out like. Maybe. They hunt everything from deer to rodents to insects. However, this cat is not the absolute boss in its habitat, and will often run away from conflicts with jaguars, brown bears, black bears, and alligators. It will stand its ground against a lone gray wolf or coyote. But if outnumbered, the cougar is smart enough to know when to make a run for it. They have mostly been eradicated from the eastern United States, but populations remain throughout South Africa and the western parts of the US and southwestern Canada. Number 9. Siberian Tiger The Siberian Tiger is the largest regular tiger, and therefore the largest big cat in the world. These tigers are native to the Russian Far East, northeastern China, and apparently North Korea? Not that Kim is telling anybody anything about his tigers, or about anything else for that matter. In 2005, their numbers were estimated at fewer than 400 individuals, but intense conservation efforts by Russia and China have seen an increase to more than 540 individuals in recent years. These magnificent beasts are incredibly rare, but Russia was the first country to ever enact a tiger protection law, and we can only hope that they will continue to thrive. They are larger than Bengal tigers and have a much thicker coat, which helps them cope with the brutally cold environment they live in. They are also lighter colored, and so blend in better with the surrounding vegetation. The Siberian tiger is a masterful hunter, with immense power, skill, balance, swimming, and jumping abilities. Siberian tigers once had a close relative living with them, known as the Caspian tiger. But this beautiful species was destroyed by humans in the 1970s, and is now completely extinct. Let us hope the Siberian can avoid the same fate. Number 8. 
snow leopard. The snow leopard has become pretty much a byword for rarity. Like, I hope years like 2020 are as rare as a snow leopard, that kind of thing. They are native to the mountain ranges of Central and South Asia, and there are fewer than 10,000 individuals estimated alive. And that number is dropping fast due to poaching and habitat destruction. And we have to work extra hard to destroy the habitat of this cat. Since they live so far away from anything, it's almost impossible to find them. They can live as high as 15,000 feet above sea level, skillfully hunting goats, sheep, and other similar-sized prey which live on the Rocky Mountainsides. These lighter-colored animals are considered to be particularly beautiful, which is why they are victims of so much poaching. Threats to humans are almost non-existent, with only two attacks on record, and both by animals afflicted with rabies, which makes creatures go crazy with aggression. In 2013, the 12 countries which have snow leopards in their territory signed an agreement to try and protect this creature so future generations might enjoy it too. Number 7. Black Maned Lion in southern and eastern Africa, there exists a lion subspecies known as Panthera leo malinocheta, or the black-maned lion. Different lion subspecies are often distinguished by the color of their manes, and you may remember that naughty lion scar from The Lion King as a black-maned lion. While the good guys like Simba had lighter colored manes, well, black maned lions might be thought of as more evil, clearly, but there is more to the story than that. First of all, the darker mane is considered by lionesses to be more attractive, and there is a strong preference among lionesses for dark haired lions over blonde colored ones. This is also the same in humans, according to studies, where women tend to prefer dark haired guys over blonde ones. This is because mane color is dictated by testosterone, and black-maned lions have more of it. Black-maned lions live longer, are stronger, and actually appear more intimidating than lions with lighter colored manes. So why don't all lions have badass black manes? Well, the simple answer is the heat. Those black manes are not good for keeping cool, so these lions tend to appear in the cooler southern parts of Africa. Number 6. White Lion we had white tigers earlier, but how about a white lion? Like white tigers, these animals have an uncommon gene defect, which changes the coloring of their pigmentation. But white lions may be the beginning of the slow process of a new species forming, as in some cases, their coloring gives them an advantage in hunting out in the southern parts of Africa, where the landscape is very pale in color. <coughs> Africans from the region believe white lions traveled to Earth from a faraway star and came to teach about the goodness of nature, which has to be one of the best folk beliefs about animals ever. They've been known to science for about 400 years, but the myths and legends surrounding white lions in Africa go back far, far deeper into history. For Africans, the lion is sometimes feared, sometimes loved, but always respected for its famous pride, heart, and power. And the rare white lion is considered an extra special animal. It's pretty easy to see just why. Number 5. Black Jaguar You see how there's a color thing going on here? Well, you heard about Black Panther already, I'm pretty sure. And let's just say Chadwick. That was way too soon. Rest in peace. But we're not here to talk about that kind of Black Panther. This is about the cats, and there are black jaguars as well as black leopards, and both are sometimes referred to as black panthers. But the black jaguar lives in South America, as opposed to the leopard, which is an African cat. Back in 1801, the first sighting of a black jaguar by a European was made by Felix de Azara, who was taken to see the amazing cat by locals while he was exploring near the Panama River in Paraguay. They have more recently been seen in Mexico and also in Costa Rica. In fact, among jaguars living on the Cordillera de Telamanca Mountains in Costa Rica, as many as 25% of the jaguars sighted there in one study were melanistic, or black, 
They are much rarer among other populations, so it's possible the dark coloring is giving an advantage to jaguars in that region. Number 4. King Cheetah Cheetahs are known for their amazing speed and for being the fastest of all of the land animals, able to run at speeds of up to 80 miles per hour. Can you imagine that for a moment? You are cruising the freeway at 60 and a cat comes sprinting past you like a damn rocket, going 20 miles per hour faster than the limit. That is crazy. Well, like any animal, cheetahs have occasional mutations in their genes, which produce unusual results. This is nature's way of trying out some new stuff to see if it works better than the original or not. Anyway, one of these mutations is cheetahs with totally different fur, two stripes down the back, and much more irregular patches everywhere else. These cheetahs are known as king cheetahs, and they are incredibly rare. The condition is hereditary, but there are believed to be only around 10 left in the world, but there are maybe up to 50 more in captivity so we can at least protect the future existence of these amazing-looking animals through breeding programs. Number 3. Golden Tiger The Golden Tiger is another variation of the Bengal Tiger, which sometimes occurs in the wild. They have a truly golden, almost reddish color. Also, the stripes are more of a pale reddish brown instead of the regular black. This is caused by a recessive gene which stops normal production of black coloring, and this is known as wideband. These tigers are extremely rare in the wild, but in 2014, one individual was photographed in a camera trap in the Kanzaranga National Park in India. This female of reproductive age has been photographed and monitored up through 2019. Golden tigers are thought to be another variation of white tigers, and all the captive golden tigers in the US are believed to be descended from a white tiger named Bahim. They bred Bahim with his sister, which is pretty weird, let's just point that one out, so that the offspring would have genes from both parents, which produce this reddish coloring. Although there was a whole lot more complicated breeding on Bahim with his daughters and his cousins and a whole bunch of stuff that would see you thrown in jail just about everywhere, except maybe Kentucky. Sorry, Kentucky, we love you, really, just not that way. Number 2. Clouded Leopard the Clouded Leopard is another big old cat with some weird colors on it, and that weirdness comes from the big cloud-like spots on its body which are pretty different to the regular leopard spots. They are outlined in black with a gray or yellow-brown background. They live in Southeast Asia, especially places like India, China, Thailand, Laos, Nepal, and Vietnam. This is a mid-sized cat weighing at up to 50 pounds, and they are expert tree climbers. In fact, they are considered to be one of the best cats for climbing, and are known to climb down vertical tree trunks head first, and can even hang off branches by clinging on with just their tail and hind paws, like some kind of monkey cat. Want to see one in action? Well, good luck with that since they are extinct in most of their habitats and numbers are incredibly low. Since when humans find these rare animals, they often poach them and turn them into coats for old rich ladies. Great. Myanmar is especially guilty for poaching, with many illegal markets on the borders with China and Thailand, so people can cross over and buy clouded leopard skins, which are more restricted in those countries. So let's maybe stop that and save these cool cats. Number 1. Stripeless Tiger We had the white tiger, which is pretty white but still striped, but what if that just ain't white enough and you like your tigers to look like they just got out of a bleach wash? How about the stripeless tiger? Back in 1820 in England, a creamy white tiger was put on display for the first time, and since then basically every insane circus, magician, show, person, whatever, has been like, I want it, I need it, I must have it. So these tigers, which come from the same family line as our strawberry tiger from earlier, you know, the whole, uh, incest thing, became the tiger of choice for Las Vegas' favorite Germans, Siegfried and Roy. 
these two had the most popular show in all of Vegas at the Mirage Resort and Casino, and their white tigers and lions were the real stars. In spite of Siegfried and Roy being pretty well-looking themselves, it must be said. It all ended in tears, though, when one of the white tigers named Montecor decided he'd had enough of this BS and attacked Roy live on stage. To his credit, even though he had a severed spine, massive blood loss from his neck, and suffered a stroke during the attack, Roy made sure that Montecor was not harmed and even claimed that the tiger was trying to save his life having sensed the oncoming stroke by dragging him off stage. It's just that Montecor dragged him using his teeth. In Roy's neck, Roy suffered permanent disabilities from the attack and passed away in 2020, while Montecor passed away of natural causes in 2014. A pretty crazy story all around, but these are some beautiful cats that are always happiest in the wild or a dedicated zoo. Which of these beautiful cats would you most like to see? Are you a proud redhead hearing about all of these beautiful strawberry animals having similar genes? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!